Howdy y'all, it's Carnivore Kit. So in honor of hitting 5,000 subscribers, I got my kettle grill over here fired up and I'm about to smoke y'all a 50 ounce ribeye. And yes, I'm gonna make challenge myself and see if I can eat the whole thing. All right, everybody, so I just cut out a 50 ounce steak right here. Let me turn it so y'all can see it. That's the bottom part. Look how thick it is. That's a full size fork. There's a top part and there's my hand. I have a big hand, but that's a 50 ounce steak. And I cut it out of this 19 pound uh, standing rib roast. I'm gonna cut this. What I did was it was originally still on the bone, but I cut the bone out first to have beef ribs. And then uh, I'm gonna cut this up and then I'm gonna cut this up. I could use sections of this and have prime rib, but here's my 50 ounce steak for the challenge. I'm gonna try to down this 50 ounce ribeye. So I cut up my other steaks already and I got them pushed to the side. This is the 50 ounce ribeye. I'm just gonna season it up real quick with some homemade rub. Let's get some homemade rub on it real quick. Hold on, I'm gonna just grab it with my hand like I normally do. Comes out a lot easier that way. Yes, it's more than salt, and it's technically not carnivore if it has black pepper and everything, because I know some of y'all be in my comment section going crazy, but uh, I'm doing me, okay? I don't think he's gonna finish it. We're gonna see, I might. Ain't no way. This is a 50 ounce steak. This steak's over three pounds that I cut out. It's over three pounds. Like, it's basically a prime rib. If you see how thick that is, that is basically a prime rib. But I'm gonna toss it on the pit, get it smoked for a little bit, and then I'm gonna sear it right there at the very end and then tear into it. All right, y'all, I'm using my SNS kettle grill today. I'm gonna put the steak over here on the cool side. And I got my fire going over there on the, uh, I got my fire going over here on the uh, hot side. Y'all see that? So here's this 50 ounce steak. I got it on my fork right now. I'm fitting to pop it on the pit real quick. That way you can get to cooking low and slow. And um, this is for me hitting 5,000 subscribers today. I'm really excited about hitting 5,000 subscribers. That's the reason that I picked a 50 ounce steak. And I'm gonna see if I can do it. Let's let it go night night. Y'all know I love y'all because it's raining outside, it's dark outside, and let's check this ribeye anyway. See how it's looking in there? See how it's temping? Yeah, yeah, it's temping pretty much done. Well, 129 right there, straight out the side. 134, 135. So I'm going to put it straight over the coals. Let me grab my tongs. I'm going to put it straight over the coals and uh, sear it real fast. All right, so let's flip it real quick and see how it's looking. And then we're going to pop it over the coals. Y'all ready? Let's pop it over the coals. And let it go. She'll go for a minute. She'll be fine. Just to get a little char on it, it's got a little char already, but this will help it get even more char. And then I'll spin it around again one more time and do the same thing. You gotta think that inside's not gonna cook a whole lot more because it's so thick. That ribeye's probably three inches thick. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty thick. Woo, that smell when it goes over those coals. When they invent smell-o-vision, y'all gonna be set. I'm gonna spin it one more time. Straight over the coals, straight over the coals. Just letting it get a little crispy, y'all. It ain't gonna hurt this thing. Just let it get a little crispy. I'll flip it over, spin it one more time. We're gonna be set. Take it inside and eat us a 50 ounce ribeye, or at least try. It's gonna be good. I'm fitting to take it off here. This is the last time. I'm gonna take it off here, take it inside, tear into it. There's your ribeye. 
50. You see that char on that baby? That is a pretty work of art. Mm -mm -mm. Voila, we have a ribeye. So I'm gonna bust open my Dow Strong Shogun. Uh, this is uh, their fillet knife. I've had it for a few years and it is super sharp. Um, this is one of the best knives that I've ever used. Uh, but this is a 50 ounce ribeye. Let's get into it and see if we can handle it. I don't know if I can. I'm honestly worried about it. I did eat lunch today. I did two meals, so I'm doing two meals today. I, I, did, I didn't do breakfast. I did lunch and uh, I had wings for lunch. And then I'm gonna try to do this 50 ounce ribeye. I always like starting with the fat parts because, well, I'm gonna cut it right down the middle at, at first, just to see how it looks. And I'm gonna stab it, put it up to the camera and let y'all see what we're working with. That's a 50 ounce ribeye, okay? That is a 50 ounce ribeye. I'm dripping on the table a little bit, but it'll be all right. Perfectly pink all the way through, hot all the way through. That right there looks great. Let's try it. Let's see how we can do. It's big. Let's get into it. Mm. It's like having It's like having prime rib. That rub's got a little spice in it because it does have cayenne. And it's got uh, um, paprika. It's got a lot of black pepper in it. So some of y'all carnivores can't have that rub, but so far I'm able to tolerate it. Let me know in the comments before I finish if y'all think I can do it. And don't cheat, it is good though. <laughs> I weighed it, I weighed this thing um, without the bone. I cut the bone off and made ribs uh, with the bones. I'm gonna do beef ribs. And so this is a true 50 ounce ribeye because a lot of people when they do it, it's still got the bone. No, this is a 50 ounce ribeye. Now it might be easier to get my cuts in. It don't need butter or nothing like that. This thing is tender. I just want to say thank y'all and I truly mean it for subscribing to my channel and to and for believing in me. It's really cool that that many people have decided to watch my content. It's super humbling like if you would have told me in January when I started the carnivore diet that I'd have 5,000 people watching my channel, actually more than that watch it, but that's how many are subscribed. If, I, if you would have told me that, I would have laughed at you because I would not have believed that that would actually happen. It's pink all the way through. This meat is pink all the way through. You can't see it that close up, but it is pink. Me with these dumb ideas. <laughs> it's possible that I'm gonna be taking that half to work. Cause uh, I don't know if I just can't eat like I used to or what, but man, it's a lot of food. I'm trying to cut it kind of thin. I like thinner pieces sometimes. I'm over here spilling juice on my shirt. A good sharp knife like this helps out a lot. When I do stuff like this, I, it, it just makes me think, I don't know if I could do OMAD, because some people do OMAD. I don't know if I could fit that much in one sitting all the time. I'll tell you, this is better than when I did the hamburger challenge. The smoked burgers are really good, but <clears throat> it ain't finna beat steak. There's no way I'm gonna make it through this. I'm already doubting myself. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? But even if I don't, I'm gonna slice it up, put it in a Ziploc bag, take it to work tomorrow, and that's lunch covered. Like, imagine 
being at your cubicle working and you get, you're sitting there eating leftover ribeye. That's the life. And that's probably what's gonna happen because I'm right at halfway through. And I'm already like, whoo. Yeah, that's probably about a pound and a half. Get us another sliver. Man, that meat is putty. That's some putty meat. It is good. Woo. Woo wee, Bob. Let me know in the comments what your favorite videos of mine are. Is it like the barbecue videos? Or is it the motivational, like just talking videos? Or when I'm sitting on the back porch? What's your favorite videos? We've recently started doing live streams as well. There's no way. There is no way on God's green earth that I'm going to eat that. But I do want a piece of that fat though. <laughs> I do want a piece of this fat. I think of somebody, ooh, that's good. I think if somebody pulled out like a hundred bucks right now, I can do it. But I definitely, since I've been on carnivore, I've learned like my hunger cues. And like um, uh, a lot of other carnivores say like, when the food stops tasting good, you're getting full. And well, it still tastes good. <laughs> I wish I could share this with y'all right now. I'm about to tap out though and cut it up into small pieces because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna accept defeat. I'm tapping out. I think I'm probably ate about one and three quarters of a pound. Maybe. I'm gonna take one more bite though. For old time's sake. Take one more bite, but I just can't do it. I wonder if I could do it before I started carnivore. That's what we got left. And it's got some nice char on it. I'm gonna slice it up real thin, but, and take it to work tomorrow. So seriously, thank y'all for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. I'm really full and I'm trying to hold in a burp, but, uh, whew. Thank y'all for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all y'all. And I appreciate all y'all that comment back and forth and encourage me all the time. Because when I started Carnivore, I didn't have that, that big of a support system. And since I've started, like y'all motivate me so much to keep going. And I really do mean that. Um, I'm not sure I would still be doing this if it wasn't for the YouTube channel and everyone uplifting me and saying hey man you can do this and don't worry if you mess up keep going so thank y'all for that thank you for subscribing thank you for just thank y'all for everything that you do i mean all the people that have bought stuff from my amazon wish list i never expected that when i created the wish list and it's just been so much and it's touched my heart it's touched my wife's heart and um it's just been incredible uh, I can't wait to cook more barbecue for y'all. I can't wait to cook more brisket for y'all, anything like that, all kind of barbecue stuff. Y'all know I'm a barbecue guy. And um, I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and y'all stay safe, take care, and God bless.